What's up Multiverse, Dr. Dave here and welcome to the Geek Lounge. While I was Funko Pup hunting in Basel, Switzerland, I actually received a few packages from Double Box Toys, so let's not waste any time and see what I got. A tell a like as the first pop I actually did get was from Double Box Toys. And it is Levi from Attack on Titan. Such a cool and badass character. I am trying to collect all the Attack on Titan pops, but yeah, it's an incredibly expensive set to, you know, collect very late. I've got, I don't know if you can see there in the shop, the Colossal Titan up there. Um, there's some of the others, but yeah, I mean, the Armored Titan, uh, Armin and Sasha Browse, I mean, that's, if you could find those three pops for 300 quid, you'd be getting yourselves a good deal. That's that's kind of how crazy things are. But it, it, even Annie and the female Titan, they're, they're not overly cheap either. I didn't even mention the Beast Titan, which is not on here. So very expensive set. Um, I love the show. You know, we are awaiting the second part of the final season coming. Is it early 2022, I think? Uh, but yeah, I, I pre-ordered this ages ago. I pre-ordered a whole bunch of stuff and popping a box. Um, if anyone uses them, they know their pre-orders can be a bit you know, shaky, you, you could be waiting months, I, I think you could be waiting up to a year, I think some people have, um, before they got something in stock and finally posted it, but this is Levi, the kind of just regular edition, let's pop him out the box, pun intended, to see what he looks like, and there he is guys, this figure is actually really, really cool, I love how he kind of stands in that kind of iconic Levi pose, you know, one sword forward, one sword back, um, what are they called swords? I don't know. Ultra hard steel blades or, or whatever they were called. I honestly can't remember um, what they're specifically referred to in the anime. As we swing round, you can kind of see the undercut of the hair. I think that's really cool how they've done that here. I don't, I don't think I've seen that on a, on another pop. Not saying it hasn't been done, but I, I don't think I've seen it. We can see there at the back the gas. Uh, what are they called? It's scabbards? Were they called that in the anime? I know they were called that in the video game. Um, but of course the, the kind of maneuverability things that, that they use to swing around. We've got the Survey Corps uh, logo there on the, I guess, hooded poncho, if that's the right term to use. Actually more detail here on the back than, than you do see in some, some other pops. But swinging back round to the front there, you know, it's just a really cool pop. He's kind of got his eyebrow raised. We know Levi is kind of that, I don't even know how you describe him, like nonchalant is that even the right word i mean he's such a badass but it, it's kind of like he just doesn't really give a shit. except for cleaning which kind of leads me to the next pop and if that wasn't an obvious giveaway here we go cleaning levi the hot topic exclusive nothing different there on the back just to show you guys it's the same as, as the regular levi pop but this is the cleaning levi pop hot topic exclusive i honestly don't know who this was exclusive to over here in the uk I think if I'm not wrong, some Attack on Titan pops have come back um, into stock recently, especially with the last season. And, you know, I snapped this one up pretty quick. I know the female Titan popped up uh, a little while ago and that, that sold out quite quick. I was, you know, I had the chance to buy it and I just slept on it really. And that was a mistake. It was then gone. Um, but yeah, I quickly got in with this one, saw it was on there and, and you know, I, I thought, you know, it's it's such a funny uh, characteristic of Levi. Sorry, there's, this is all a bit noisy. I'm just pulling it out here so I can get it off the protector. And hopefully that you can, guys can see that a little bit better with the light. Maybe not shining on it so much there. Uh, but yeah, very, very cool. Happy, like I said, to have got this. Let's take a closer look at it. And there we go, guys. Maybe not as badass as the, the other figure. But like I said, very, very funny. I love the fact that the guy just hates dust. Um, and this is him in his kind of clean and attire with the uh, feather duster there. Uh, I think that attire, if I'm not mistaken, is that what they wear kind of underneath the ponchos and, and whatnot? I could be wrong there. Um, as we swing around, we can kind of see how it's, you know, tied around his head and, and kind of goes underneath the uh you know to the to the kind of base of the skull there tied up um yeah, I, don't, I don't know what to say uh what, what more i can say about this pop it it just makes me laugh uh makes me think back to that episode thinking this guy's such a badass and then he like 
you know, he's such a clean freak though as well. So very funny. And like I said, I'm very happy to have got this because I, I really thought I'd have to shell out, um, you know, a ridiculous amount to get this pot. Right, next up guys, we'll get this one out of the way real quick because it is the Blue Spirit uh, Hot Topic exclusive non-chase. If you watched the last video uh, with my Fungo Pop Hunt in Basel, I found the Chase Edition uh, in a GameStop in central Basel, Switzerland, but I had already ordered this uh, from Double Box Toys with a Hot Topic exclusive sticker. Didn't get lucky and get the Chase again, that would have been pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. You know, I'll keep this for, I don't know, trade, sale, maybe a future giveaway uh, if this channel hopefully really takes off. Make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, next up is Shigure Soma with Dog from Fruits Basket, the Funimation 2021 exclusive. I actually just realized I'm looking at the, the other two figures still to come. There's actually pretty much an animation haul. Um, but yeah. This a Funimation 2021 exclusive, like I said, Shigure Soma with Dog. I have to be honest, guys, I haven't watched Fruits Basket yet. It's on my list. Um, I've been getting through so much anime recently, and uh, well, I've got a couple of episodes left of Jujutsu Kaisen, which I'm hearing rumors of pops to come, which I hope because I've fallen in love with the show very, very quickly, as I have most of the animes I've watched. But Fruits Basket is next on my list. Um, but from everything I've been told, uh, you know, I've heard it's really cool, um, really different, really nice show. I think it's like 8.6, 8.7 on IMDb, so pretty high uh, in terms of ratings as well. Um, there's there's some of the other characters for you. T Toru, Honda, Yuki Soma, Kyo Soma, and I guess Shigure Soma without the dog. I think as well if I'm not mistaken and Fruits Basket fans please do correct me on this they turn into animals and I'm guessing this dog here is is what he turned into I think it's something to do with the Chinese uh, Zodiac um, at least from what I've read so um, let's actually notice this, uh, this protects us a little bit a little bit strange um, but yeah I, I kind of looked at it and thought ah that's you know it's an exclusive from Funimation. I think it is still available on, on the website, but I have seen it's not available um, on uh, Double Box Toys anymore. So yeah, I, I thought let's grab it. I'm pretty certain I'm gonna like the show, and if I don't, well, it's there for a trade and, and, and whatever, but um, yeah. I mean, let's take a closer look. I'm not really gonna be able to say much about it because like I said, I haven't watched the show yet. And there he is, guys, with the with the dog, which, like I said, I think that is what he transforms into. Fruits Basket or anime fans, please do correct me if I'm wrong and he just happens to have uh, a family dog. But as we kind of swing around there, he's kind of got grey hair. I don't know if that's... is that an accurate portrayal? Like I said, I, I actually don't know anything about this show yet just because I haven't seen it. But I will do quite soon, within two weeks, I'd... If that, I'd probably say I've seen season one already. So, yeah, who knows? Maybe I'll come back. Maybe I'll get some of the other Fruits Basket Pops and, uh, and you know, do a kind of proper uh, video on them all. But, you know, I like the look of these Pops. It's always called cool out this little dog. Kind of reminds me of the, the kind of John Wick or uh, Daryl from, uh, from The Walking Dead, kind of having that little animal with them. But, uh, yeah, like I said, guys, I can't really say much. Uh, until I've watched the first season, but very cool to get this pop and add it to the collection. All right, guys, and now for the penultimate pop. It is a chase, not quite anime. Uh, no, I was going to say still animated, but it's actually not. Because um, this is from the Mandalorian live action TV series. Bo Katan Crease. Yeah, sorry, she, um, she was originally a character, of course, in uh, Clone Wars animated and now brought to live action. Yeah, so this actually wasn't a uh, fully animated uh, male call. Um, yeah, that kind of threw me a bit. But there it is, the Bo-Katan Crease Chase Edition from the most recent wave of Mandalorians. More coming, I think, towards the end of this year. There you guys can see uh, a closer look at all of those figures. I think I've actually got them all now. Yes, I have, just not the regular Bo-Katan. Um, I will confess I, I bought this as a chase, uh, you know, 
I haven't been lucky and, and pulled the chase. Uh, they had it on there. I actually ordered this a while ago, um, before any of these other pops, um, when it came up. And I actually had like, is it DBT coins or whatever they call it? And I actually had ten pounds off, and I think it's twenty. I think this was like twenty nine pound. Um, so yeah, it was like twenty quid. So you know, I was pretty happy to pay twenty quid for a chase. Um, but yeah, let's take a closer look at her. And there she is in all her glory. You know, the regular common edition is with the mask. This chase edition without the mask. As we go around here in that kind of badass kind of pose with the two guns or two pistols kind of pointing out. As we kind of swing around, you've got the... Is that a symbol of Mandalore? Or maybe even from Death Watch? I don't know. I, I haven't watched the Clone Wars for such a long time. Um, and of course, they didn't really go into her kind of history and things um, on the Mandalorian itself. But they are there on the kind of pauldrons, the, the kind of jetpack, I guess, there at the back as well. Because, um, of course, she is uh, a Mandalorian herself. With that kind of headband as well to tie back the red hair. You know, it, it's just a very cool pop on the Star Wars base, as all Star Wars uh, Funkos are, with the bubble head as well. But, you know, very, very cool. Happy to complete that Mandalorian wave. All right, guys, and now for the main event. And to be honest, it's not a grail or anything absolutely spectacular. Oh, I think it's very, very cool. It is the 10-inch glow-in-the-dark All Might from My Hero Academia. It's got the, the Funimation 2021 exclusive on there, but I think this was like a 2020, I was about to say 2022, a 2020 um, exclusive. Yeah, it's got 2020 there on the bottom. So not quite sure why the Funimation 2021 exclusive sticker is actually peeling off a little bit, which a little bit annoying, but um, yeah, this popped up in the sale uh, on Double Box Toys and I thought, you know, I've fallen in love with My Hero Academia, especially All Might. Um, I'm fully up to date on the show, uh, season five. Well, I guess the movie just literally came out as well, so um, yeah, the third movie. So we'll get round to that. But yeah, I thought, let's grab this. It's glow in the dark. I love All Might. So uh, yeah, let me take a closer look at it now. And there we go, guys. This thing is all kinds of cool. You know, the the typical kind of All Might look, uh, for lack of a better word, you know, with that, the front bit of his hair, uh, his costume. I don't know if you guys can already tell, um, just by some of the light sources, the, the parts that are glow in the dark. I think it is the boots, the, the kind of wrist bits, obviously the hair. As we kind of swing around there, you know, the, I don't know, symbol of peace uh, outfit. I don't know if his name, if his outfit really had a name. This, I know he had like different ages and you know Silver Age, Bronze Age, and, and various. But I think this was the, this was his most regular outfit. If I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. But I I just love this spot. I think it's brilliant. It captures All Might in all his glory. But speaking of glory, let's check out the glorious glow in the dark on this figure. Uh, let's just charge this up a bit. He actually already had a little bit of glow uh, from the light before. Let's just charge it a tiny bit more. And there we go. How cool is that, guys? i, I got to say, it's one of the best glows I think I've seen. Um, you know, especially the head there. The boots are maybe going a little bit, but look at that. The eyebrows, the hair, even the teeth. Uh, just very, very cool. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. Plus Ultra. Okay, so maybe my voice acting career is not gonna go very far, but I don't really care. I got a pretty cool haul. I'm trying to think what my favorite was, you know, a chase is always cool, but the two Levi's very cool figures as well, but I maybe got to go with the 10 inch all might, just the fact the glow is so sick and it just makes the figure even better. But yeah, guys, very cool haul, like I said. I hope you did enjoy this video. If so, give it a like. Drop me some comments below. What did you guys like from, you know, from my haul? And what have you guys received recently in the mail too? Guys, please also do make sure you subscribe. I'm going to make it real easy for you. Hit this button appearing here now to subscribe and enable those notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. And guys, thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the next one. Peace out.
nerds.